In converting degrees to reagent, it is very important for us to know their relationship. And we will illustrate that relationship using this circle. Now, we all know that a circle measures 360 degrees. That is using the degree measure. Next, if we are talking about reagents, we are actually talking about the, the arc that subtends the angle. Ibig sabihin, we are talking about the arc length. And if we are talking about the arc length of the circle, we are actually talking about its circumference. And we all know that the circumference of the circle is 2 pi times its radius. And if we are talking about the radian measure of a circle, then that would be 2 pi radians. Now, to see their relationship, we must equate these two values. And then we have to simplify this by dividing both sides by 2. And that will yield to 180 degrees equals pi regents. Or pi region. Okay? Next. For us to convert degrees to regions, it would be very important for us to know how many regions are there in one degree and how many degrees are there in one region. And for us to do that, we have to simplify this in two ways. It's either we divide both sides by 180 degrees or, or end, we have to divide both sides by pi. And that will yield to or one degree. 1 degree would be equivalent to pi that will be pi over 180 meaning to say that for every 1 degree that is equivalent to pi over 180 regions okay or we can say that 1 we can say that 1 would be equivalent to pi over 180 degrees. And then the other way around, we can also say that 1 would be equivalent to would be equivalent to 180 degrees over pi. Okay? Now, pi here, we all know that the that the value of pi is non-terminating, non, non non-repeating decimal. So we have to assume values of pi. Let's say, for example, we are to uh, we are to consider pi as three point fourteen fifteen nine and whatsoever. Now, um, the approximate value of pi over one hundred eighty degree would be equivalent to, or the approximate value would be zero point zero one seven four five three. Okay. Meaning to say that for, e for every degree, for every 1 degree, that is equivalent to 0 0.017453 region. And here, for every region, for every region, that is equivalent or that is approximately equivalent to 57.29578 degrees. Okay? Alright. Now, let us try to convert degree with that of the region. Let's say for example, we are to convert 162 degrees to regions. For us to do that, we are to choose bet between these two. Okay? Since we are since we are converting degrees to region, so we'll be multiplying 162 with this one. The first one, which is pi over 180 degrees or 0 0.017453 regions. Okay? You, um, in converting degrees to regions, you can actually express your answer in terms of pi. Yet, other, other, other teachers might require you to, to write the exact value of your answer in regions. Meaning to say, you are to assume value for uh, pi. Okay? But since... Here in the discussion, we'll be dealing with both, okay? So, in, in converting 162 degrees into uh, regions, we have to multiply that by... We have to multiply that by... Oops. Multiply it with... 
pi over 180 degrees. Okay? Tatandaan natin that if we are multiplying it with ratios, kailangan kung, ka, kung saan mo siya kinakonvert, yun yung nasa taas. Since we are converting it into regions, then nandito dapat si pi sa taas. Okay? Now, simplifying that one, we have 162, 162 divided by 180, that will be equivalent to 9 over 10. Okay? Meaning to say, 162 is equivalent to 9 over 10 pi. Okay? Yet, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, pwede natin siyang mas simplify pa by substituting the value of pi. Let's say, for example, the, the value of pi is 3.1416. We have to multiply 9 over 10 by 3.1416 and that is equivalent to 2 point oops that is equivalent to that's 9 over 10 times 3.1416 that is equivalent to 2.82744. 2.82744 regions. Okay? So, 162 degrees is equivalent to 2.82744 regions. Okay? Now, let us try to convert regions to degrees naman. Okay? Now, we are given here we are given here regions, meaning to say it is on, ex on its exact value. So, saan po natin siya i-multiply? I-multiply natin si 0.3826 dito naman sa pangalawa nating concept, which is that for every region, that is equivalent to 57.29578 degrees. So, para mas madali, Pwede naman nating idiretso dito. Pero dahil gusto nating mas ma-challenge, then pwede nating gawin um, 0.3826 multiplied by 180 degrees over pi. And that would be equal equivalent to 0.3826 times 180 degrees. That is equivalent to that is equivalent to uh, 1721 that's 1721 17217 over 250 250 Pi or one two one seven over two fifty pi, and then we still need to simplify it by substituting the value of pi, which is equivalent to three point fourteen sixteen. So that's gonna be times one over pi. Okay, so that's gonna be 21, oops, sorry, that is 1, ulit, that's 1, 7, 2, 1, 7, over 250 pi. That will be equivalent to 21.9214. 21.9214. Degrees. Okay? Meaning to say, 0 0.3826 regions is equivalent to 21.9214 degrees. Since yung value natin ng degrees dito is not exact, we can actually convert it into DMS or degrees, minute, and seconds by applying what we have learned a while ago. And since 
uh, this is just an application or this is an application, we may use our calculator. So, uh, by the result, that is equivalent to 21.9214 rounded off to the nearest thousands or ten thousands. And what we're going to do is just to press the degrees, minutes, and second button here in our calculator. So that will be equivalent to 21. That is 21 degrees. That is 21 degrees, 55 minutes. And 16.91 seconds. So that's going to be its value. So, 0.3826 regions is equivalent to 21 degrees, 55 minutes, and 16.91 seconds.